What's going on everybody? Today I have a brand new video for you. I'm going to show you how to make this radio distortion effect in Adobe Photoshop. I will show you how this can be applied to any text. So let's go. Create a new project. This one is going to be 1920 by 1080, which is full HD. Invert the background layer, add your text here. For this one, I'm going to use this font, align its center, convert this layer to a smart object, create a copy of this layer, select the one below, go to filter, blur, radio blur, change the method to zoom, change the amount to 50, hit OK. We're going to make another copy of this layer, go to radio blur, and change the size of this one to be 100. Double click on the top layer, select drop shadow and just add a shadow that's going to make the text more readable. For this one, I chose the opacity to be 50, distance 0, spread 0, size 90 pixels. Hit OK. Select all three layers, convert them to a smart object, make a copy, choose the layer below, go to filter, blur, radio blur again, choose a blur method to be spin, change the amount to 40, hit OK, hit Command or Control T to resize, change the width to be 120%, make sure the width and the height are linked, make another copy of this layer, double click on radio blur and choose the amount to be 80. Next step would be check the temperature of your computer. Just make sure your computer is doing all right. And now it's time to select all the layers, convert them into a smart object. Go to filter, filter gallery, and here we're going to apply the effect. The first thing we're going to add is the graphic pen. Choose the strong length to be somewhere around two or three. The light and dark balance to be all the way to 100 and the stroke direction to be vertical. Next effect is going to be the half tone pattern. For the size, just make sure the photo doesn't get too blurry. And for the contrast, we just got to get rid of the lines that can be seen on the white part of the text and make sure the pattern type is circle apply all the effects and we're pretty much there if you think the text got lost just go back to the layer with the drop shadow and change the opacity of that shadow close the smart objects make sure you save everything and now we can see that the text is more readable now it's time to just add some extras we can add a gradient we can add whatever color we want in between the black and the white we can add two points of the color to just make sure the white stands out more we can also add some grain for that I'm just going to add a curve adjustment layer to brighten the darks a little bit so I can actually make the grain visible. Go to camera raw, add the grain there, linear light. So yeah, I kind of like it without the gradient map. If you want to change the text, just go all the way to the smart object where the text is located. Change the text, close the smart object, save everything. And now we can see our text has been updated. One last thing you can do if you don't really like the particles that are coming out of the text is you can merge everything into a new layer, go to blur, radio blur again, choose spin and choose a very small amount, somewhere around five. I think five is actually too much, so I'll just go with three. And there you have it guys, another video for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hit a thumbs up if you found this helpful. And don't forget to check the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.